you are at home, Ezekiel and Johnny is my name. In this lecture, I'm going to consider the subsidiary books and its source document. Subsidiary books and its source document. My lecture shall cover meaning of subsidiary books. Meaning of subsidiary books. Source documents of the various subsidiary books. Types of subsidiary books. And explanation of the various types. I will quickly give practical work example. Work examples of the various forms of subsidiary books. What do you mean by subsidiary books? Subsidiary books. Subsidiary books or books are the books of original entries. The books of original entry or prime entry is said to be the subsidiary books. Subsidiary books are the books of original entry. They are the prime books of account. Subsidiary books are the prime books of account. The books of original entry. They are the first books. The first book in which the day-to-day -day business transactions can be recorded. Subsidiary books are the first book for recording the day-to-day -day business transactions. They are the first book because after the source document, Transaction will be entered directly from the source document to the subsidiary books. That is why I said they are the first books. Subsidiary books, I said they are the books of original entry or the prime books of account. I want you to know that subsidiary books are memorandum books. Memorandum books in the sense that they are not part of, of the double entry. Subsidiary books are memorandum books because they are not part of the double entry. So you can simply call them journal. Journal. So types of subsidiary books. Types of subsidiary books. Number one is says journal. Says journal. You either call them journal or you call them day book. Says journal is used for recording daily credit sales. For recording for recording daily, that is day to day, daily credit sales. When you sell on credit, the goods sold on credit will be recorded in the sales journal or sales day book. Whenever there are credit sales, the credit sales or credit transactions will be recorded. The credit sales will be recorded in sales journal or sales day book. The source document or sales journal is sales invoice. You issue invoice when you sell on credit. When you sell and the buyer hasn't paid for the goods. So you give them invoice. You issue invoice. The source document or sales day book or sales journal is sales invoice. Don't forget, I've told you that sales journal or sales day book will be used for recording daily credit sales. The second one I'm going to look at is purchases day book. Purchases day book or purchases journal. You either call them day book or you call them journal. This is used for recording for recording daily credit purchases say purchases journal or purchases day book is used for recording daily credit purchases purchases journal or purchases day book is used for recording daily credit purchases the source document source document or purchases day book is Purchase invoice. 
purchase invoice. That is the source document. The third one I'm going to look at is return in was day book. Return in was day book. That is the number three. Return in was day book. Or return in was journal. This is used for recording for recording goods. For recording goods returned by the customers. But this is the book, I mean returning was the book is used for recording goods returned by the customers. Anytime you sell goods to customers on credit, and that customer return the goods back to you. Such goods returned by the customers will be recorded in the returning words day book. I'm telling you that another words for returning words day book is returning words journal. You can also call them sales returns book. You either call them returning words or you call them sales returns books. The source document, source document of the returning words day book is credit note credit note credit note is the document sent to customers to show that the account has been credited meaning that if customers return the goods back to you you are going to credit the customer's account it means the, it is the business that are now owing the customers it is the business that are now owing the customers. So when customer return goods to you, you issue the customers the credit note, showing that the customer's account has been credited. Credit note can be used to correct an overcharge. When customers have been overcharged, you can as well use the credit note to correct that. Credit note can be used to correct and overcharge. It is EU by the seller to the customers to show that the account of the customers has been credited. The fourth, the fourth one is return outwards the book. Return outwards the book or return outwards journal. Or you can as well call them uh, purchases return the book or purchases return journal. You either call them return out to us or you call it purchases return. This is used for recording. For recording goods returned. Returned to the suppliers. For recording goods returned to the suppliers. That is return out towards the book. For recording goods returned to the suppliers. That is return outwards the book. I've told you that return outwards the book can also be called purchases return the book. The source document, source document of return outwards the book is debit note. Debit note. Debit note is a document in you to show that uh, to correct an undercharge. It is used to correct an undercharge. It's a document in you by suppliers to show that the business account has been debited. Debit note can be used to correct an undercharge. It can be used to correct an undercharge. The fifth one I'm going to look at is journal. Journal. Better still, I can call it journal proper. Journal proper or general journal. General journal. 
journal proper or general journal. This is used is used for recording those transactions those transactions which because of their nature nature cannot be entered in other subsidiary other subsidiary subsidiary books journal proper is used for recording those transactions which because of their nature cannot be entered in other subsidiary books those ones that cannot be all entered in other subsidiary books i have mentioned will be entered or will be recorded in journal proper so that is journal proper uses of journal uses of journal or uses of journal proper or better still uses of journal one for correction of errors for correction of errors we use journal to correct errors two for recording for recording opening entries. For recording opening entries. We use journal to record opening entries. To show the transfer. To show the transfer between accounts. We use journal proper to show the transfer between accounts it serves it serves as a book of instructions it serves as a book of instructions it serves as a book of instructions For recording the purchases, purchases or sales of non current assets, non current assets on credit. Where you purchase non current assets on credit. The purchases of that non-current asset will be entered in journal proper for recording the purchases or sales of non-current assets on credit for recording the acquisition and disposal of non-current assets on credit the number six i'm going to look at is cash book cash book Cash book. I say cash book is used for recording cash transactions. For recording cash transactions. Cash transactions can be in form of cash in hands cash enhance and cash at bank that means cash book is used for recording that then cash book perform a dual function cash book performs a dual function it performs the subsidiary function subsidiary function at the same time it performs the function of the ledger I told you that a cash book performs a dual function. It performs the subsidiary function. At the same time, it performs the function of a ledger. The source document, source document of a cash book is receipts. 
receipts. That is the sort of document. That is when you sell anything in cash or you buy in cash, then you'll be issued a receipt. Receipt is the sort of document of the cash book. So, that is, these are the various subsidiary books we are going to look at. So, we therefore want to give a practical work example. We want to give example of the various forms of subsidiary books. Example one. Record the following transactions. It says journal and returning was journal for the month of July 2020. July 1st, credit says to Fred, 6,000 Naira. Isaac, 3,000 Naira. And King, 2,000 uh, 2, Naira. July 4, credit says to Mom, 9,000 Naira. July 6, credit says to the following, following persons, key, 6,000, mom, 4,000. July 12, return from the following, from the following persons, Isaac, 1,000, King, 500. On the 20th of July, credit says to mom, 4,000, key, 2,000, and king, 1,500. Return from the following, following people, key, 1,000, mom, 300. On the 30th of July, credit says to Sam, 3,400. Now, I've told you that anytime there are credit says, it will be entered in the sales day book. I've told you that sales day book or sales journal is used for recording daily credit sales. Now, you are going to open that is solution to example one. Solution to the first work example. You are going to open sales journal or sales day book. You either call it sales journal or you call it sales day book. So you have, you are going to have a colon for date, a colon for particulars. A colon for folio, another colon for details, finally you have amounts, date particular, date particulars, folio, details, amount. Folio column is used for reference purpose. Folio column is for reference purpose. Now, this is the layout, layout of the sales day book, uh, of the subsidiary book. Remember, I've told you that subsidiary books are memorandum books. Memorandum in the sense that they are not part of the double entry. They are not part of the double entry. So that is in the sales journal. The heading will be sales journal or sales day book for the month of July 2020. Sales journal or sales day book for the month of July 2020. The year is year 2020. 2020. So the first date is July 1st. July 1st. You have credit says to Fred, 6,000, Isaac, 3,000, and King, 2,000. So you have Fred, the first person is Fred, says to Fred, and that is 6,000, 6,000 Naira. Says to Isaac, 3,000 Naira, Isaac. That is 3,000 Naira. Says to King, 2,000 Naira. King, 2,000 Naira. The total credit sales for the month of July, I mean, on the 1st of July, 2020, the total credit sales in the month of July, 2020, when you sum it up, it will be 11,000. 11 
thousand. So being the recording of sales for the month of July 2020. Uh, I mean, first day of the month of July 2020, the total is 11,000. Then we also have 4th of July. We only have one person. We have 4th of July, credit sales to mom, 9,000. July 4, July 4, you have mom and that is 9000 since there are not there are no list of transactions in that day then you are going to have it in the amount column that is says on the 4th of july 2020 so the transaction will be transferred to sales ledger in the general ledger sales ledger sme sales ledger then we have the sixth of july 6th of July, credit says to the following, following persons, key, 6,000, and mom, 4,000. 6th of July, credit says to key, and that is 6,000. 6,000, you put it under details. Then we also have mom, 4,000. The reason for putting that under details is for us to be able to gross it before transferring the total to the amount column. And that is 4,000. That is for mom. So when you sum it up, the total will be 10,000. Being the recording of sales for on the 6th of July, 2020. So that is 6th of July, 2020. Then, July 12th is not a sales return from the following. It is a return. So you can't enter it in sales day book or sales journal. This is sales day book or sales journal. I've told you that the title could be sales day book or sales journal. Since this is a return, return cannot be entered in the sales journal. So we are not going to enter this here. We are going to record it in a separate book. Then on the 20th of July, you have credit sales to mom. On the 20th of July, credit sales to mom, 4,000 Naira, key, 2,000 Naira, and king, 1,500. That is on the 20th of July. Credit sales to mom. Mom, and that is mom, on the 20th of July, that is 4,000 Naira. 4,000 Naira. Then that same 20th of July, we have sales to key, and that is 2,000 Naira. Key, 2,000 Naira. And same 20th of July, we have sales to king of 1,500. King, 1,500. When you aggregate that, then you have... 7,500, 7,500, that is 20th of July. On the 25th of July, 25th of July is not a sales, it is a return, and that will be entered in a separate book known as the return invoice. Then on the 30th of July, we have credit sales to Sam, 30th of July, we have credit sales to Sam, and that is 3,400. 3,400, that is sales to Sam. And since that is the only transaction as at that date, so you put it in the amount column. Sales to Sam, 3,400. Then, the value will be transferred to sales ledger, in the general ledger, sales ledger in the general ledger. Then you now sum it up. The total will be 11,000 plus 9,000 plus 10,000 plus 7,500 plus 3,400 
and that is total 40,900. As at the end of the month, which is the 30th of July, 31st of July, you have transfer to six ledger in the general ledger. Transfer to six ledger in general ledger. The amount that will be transferred to six ledger in general ledger is 40,900. Then the returns, that is six day book. Six day book. Six day book. So, then we are going to open the return in was day book or sales return book for the returns that will be entered in return in was book or sales return books return in was book or sales return book you have return in was day book I've told you that you either call it day book or you call it journal so you also have same column you have date particulars we have folio then we have details and amount date particular folio duties and amount on the 12th of july 2020 we have returned from the following persons july 12th return from the following persons Isaac, 1,000. King, 500. Isaac, 1,000. King, 500. So when you sum it up, you have 1,500. That is, this amount will be transferred to return in was journal or transfer to sales ledger in the general ledger but let me say transfer to return in was journal then on the 25th of july we have return from the following people we have key 1000 and mom 300 that is 25th july 25 we have key 1000 and mom 300 key 1000 mom 300 the total is 1300 transfer to return it was ledger return it was ledger transfer to return it was ledger in the general ledger when you sum it up it will be 2000 800 2800 at the end of the month which is 31st of july we transfer that amount transfer to return in was ledger in the general general ledger transfer to return in was ledger in the general ledger that is example one we are going to take the second work example example two record the following transactions in the purchases day book and return out towards day book of igoba kure for the month of december 2020 december one purchase on credit from Ijoka. Purchase on credit from Ijoka. The following 30 bars of nails 
at 1,000 Naira per bag. 20 bags of cement, 3,000 Naira per bag, all subject to 10% trade discount. December 10, purchase on credit from Nigeria, 5 tons of granite at 20,000 Naira per ton. 10 cases of louvers at 4,000 Naira per case, all subject to 5% trade discount. December 15, return to Ijoka. Three bags, three bags of nails at 1,000 Naira per bag, and five bags of cement at 3,000 Naira per bag. December 25, purchase on credit from Ghana, goods worth 100,000 Naira, subject to 20% trade discount. December 31st, return to Ghana, goods worth 10,000 Naira. So, since this is, the transaction is a credit purchase, since it is a credit purchase, it will therefore be entered or recorded in purchases day book purchases day book i've told you that purchases day book is used for recording daily credit purchases it is used for recording daily credit purchases now you are going to have record the following transactions in the purchases day book and return was day book of igoba correct we are going to have Igoba. Igoba Akure. Purchases. Daybook. For the month. Month of December. For the month of December. Year 2020. December 2020. So you are going to have date, particulars, because we have a month, details, then you also have folio. So, date, particular folios, details, amount. Date, particulars, folio, details, amount. December 1. Purchase on credit from Ijoka. Purchase on credit from Ijoka. The following 30 bags of nails at 1,000 Naira per bag. 30 bags of nails at 1,000 Naira per bag. That is December 1. So we have Ijoka. Ijoka purchase from Ijoka. You have 30 bags. 30 bags of nails. Of nails at 1,000 Naira per bag. At 1,000 Naira per bag. 30 times 1,000. That will give us 30,000. Then we also have 20 bags of cement. At 3,000 Naira per bag. 20 bags of cement. 20 bags of cement at 3,000 Naira, 3,000 Naira per bag. So it will be 20 times 3,000, which will be 60,000. 60,000. Then, all subject to 10% trade discount all subjects to 10% trade discount
So when you sum it up, to have 30,000 plus 60,000, that will give us 90,000. Now less 20% trade discount. Less 20% trade discount. That is 20 over 100 times 90,000. That is 20% trade discount. You calculate 20% of 90,000. And that will give us 18,000. When you subtract 18,000 from 90,000, you'll be left with the net amount of 72,000. So this amount will be transferred to Porsche's ledger in the general ledger. It will be transferred to Porsche's ledger in the general ledger. Then December 10, December 10, Purchase on credit from Nigeria. Purchase on credit from Nigeria, December 10. You have Nigeria. Purchase on credit from Nigeria. You have five tons of granite. Five tons of granite at 20,000 naira per ton at 20,000 Naira per ton. So we have five tons of granite at 20,000 Naira per ton. Five times 20,000, that will give us 100,000. That same date, the 10th of December, 10 cases of louvers at 4,000 Naira per Case. You have 10 cases of louvers at 4,000 naira per case. 4,000, 10 times 4,000, that will give us 40,000. Then when you aggregate that, it will give us 140,000 naira. And you were told that all subject to 5% trade discount. All subject to 5% trade discount. So you less 5% trade discount. 5% trade discount. That would be 5 over 100 times 140,000. That would give you the amount of the discount. 5% of 140,000 and that will give us 7,000. When you subtract 7,000 from 140,000, you'll be left with 133,000. So that will be transferred to purchases ledger in the general ledger. Then, December 15, return to Ijoka. This is a return. So it will be entered in return out towards the book. Return to Ijoka. The business is returning it to another person. Returning it to Ijoka. So that is return out to us. So it will not be entered in the purchases day book. December 25th. Purchased on credit from Ghana. Goods worth 100,000 Naira. Subject to 20% trade discount. So that is on the 25th of December. December 25th, purchase from Ghana. So we have purchase from Ghana, goods worth 100,000. Less 20% trade discount. Less 20% trade discount. Less 20% trade discount so 20 percent trade discount will be 20 over 100 times 100 thousand and that will give us 20 thousand when you subtract 20 thousand from 100 thousand you'll be left with 80 thousand this amount will be transferred to purchases ledger in the general ledger since it is purchases the book December 31st, return to Ghana, goods worth 10,000 Naira. 
Return to Ghana goose worth 10,000 Naira. Goose worth 10,000 Naira. So that will be entered in return outwards journal. So when you sum up this, you have 72,000 72,000 plus 133,000 plus 80,000. And that will give us 285,000. Transfer the, at the end of the month, December 31st. Transfer, transfer to purchases ledger in the general ledger. So this amount will be transferred to purchases ledger. Now, you are going to have return out to us. So for recording those return. So we have return out to us, Jonah Igoba. Igoba, where? You have return out to us, Jonah. Return out to us, Jonah. The same heading, you have date, particulars, you have folio, details, amount, folio, details, amount, date particular, date, particulars, folio details amount. On the 15th of December, we have return to Ijoka. December 15, return to Ijoka. The items return are three bags of nails at 1,000 per bag. Three bags of nails at 1,000 Naira per bag. So, 3 times 1,000, that will give us 3,000. You know, the, the number of bags of nails purchased earlier was 30 bags at 1,000. They are now returning 3 bags out of that 30 bags. So, you have 3 bags returned. Then, they also return 5 bags of cement. You know, 20 bags of cement were bought at 3,000 Naira per bag. Now, they are now returning five bags of cement at that 3,000. So, we have five bags of cement at 3,000 Naira per bag. Five times three, that will be 15,000. Now, when you aggregate that, you have 18,000. As at the time of purchase of these items, 10% trade discount were given. The entity enjoyed 10% trade discount as at the time of the purchase of the items. So that trade discount which was given have to be deducted as well. Less 10% trade discount. And that will be 10%, 10 over 100 times 18,000. And that will give us 1,800. 1,800. If you subtract 1,800 from 18,000, you'll be left with 16,200. 16,200. This amount will be transferred to return outwards ledger. It will be transferred to return outwards ledger. Then on the 31st of December, they also return goods to Ghana worth 10,000. December 31st, we have returned to Ghana and the amount, uh, the value of the goods is 10,000. Remember these goods were purchased from Ghana on the 25th of December. The value of goods bought from Ghana was 100,000. As at the time of, of the purchase of these items, 
10, 20 percent discount were enjoyed. So you are going to less the 20 percent discount. Less 20 percent trade trade discount. So which is 20 over 100 times 10,000, and that will give us 2,000. If you subtract 2,000, 2,000 from 10,000, you'll be left with 8,000. You add the 8,000 and 16,000, then you will have uh, 24,200. That is return outwards ledger. It will be transferred to the return outwards ledger. As at the end of the month, December 31st, you have transfer to return outwards, outwards ledger in the general ledger. That is all about the sales day book, purchases day book, returning words day book, and return outwards day book. My next lecture shall cover other subsidiary books not yet considered in this class.